MGM Grand of Detroit has opened Detroit Central Market. It's a new urban food hall dining concept that offers some distinct options. They look delicious. David Tsai is the president of the Midwest Group for MGM Resorts International, and he joins us now live with more about this new culinary hotspot. Hi, David. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you. Good. Thanks for having me. For sure. Now, you just opened this here recently, right? No, that's right. We had a little bit of a soft opening right before New Year's Eve because we really wanted to, we're really excited to get it open, but we had a grand opening now uh, just a few weeks ago at the beginning of the month. Well, I know uh, people, you know, love their, their locations for dining here in Detroit. It's definitely become known as like a foodie place. Uh, how would you describe this new location? Uh, it's a great question. I mean, um, I've grown to appreciate Detroit. I've only uh, moved here a couple of years ago, and you're absolutely right. The food here is absolutely amazing. And I don't know if you're familiar with the concept of a food hall, uh, but food halls have popped up, some here in Detroit, but all over the United States in these big cities. And I kind of liken it to whereas a food court is really there for convenience, it tends to be things cooked in bulk, it's really convenience focused first. A food hall is focused on the food first, right? Uh, everything's uh, made from scratch, it's cooked to order, really focusing on either things that are really authentic or things that are even maybe a little innovative, our own take on things. So we spend a lot of time trying to figure out what are we putting here and how to focus on the, the best items that we can offer for folks here in downtown Detroit. So how many different, is it like stations? People can go to different stations. Are they separate restaurants in the food hall? Yeah, so it's all part of the same food hall concept, but we have four outlets uh, that we've currently opened with. We plan and hope to open more in the future. Um, so uh, actually, when you come in, you can order from any of the of the station, uh, any of the outlets. So some food halls, you need to walk around and wait in line and kind of order from different places. We try to make it pretty convenient for you. So when you come in, you can actually order on your phone or on a kiosk from any of these stations that you want, and the food will get delivered right to your table. And best of all, if you want to order more, you don't have to get out of your seat. <laughs> you can just place another order, and it'll be delivered right to you. Oh, that sounds convenient <laughs> and dangerous. You just keep on ordering for sure. So how does Detroit Central market pay homage to the city? Yeah, so uh, a few things. I mean, right when you walk in, you're going to see a Detroit skyline right to the right, and we really featured it in the space and with the art. We even partnered with Two for Eight Studio, a local artist, Aaron Miller, where we actually feature a mural by him uh, that features a, a vintage view of the Detroit River. And we actually have other artists that we're talking to that we hope to put up in the space. But also in the food, obviously we have Detroit style pizza, which I've grown to appreciate. It's a very uh, classic style of pizza, kind of pays homage to the old days when you have these uh, square pieces cooked with grit cheese with uh, the crispy edges, you know, kind of baked in these steel pans. Uh, but also we've kind of partnered with local suppliers. Uh, Hacienda Mexican Foods is a local supplier, so even the tortillas are made right here in Mexican Town, uh, just down the street in Detroit. Okay, you know, it's probably one of those situations where you don't have a favorite <laughs> that you order yet, but if you had to pick one, what's your favorite? Ooh, uh, it's hard to pick. I mean, I, I love spicy food, so we were able to partner with uh, also a local entrepreneur, Chef Jay Brandon, uh, Fat Daddy's. He has an outlet down river, but it's been a great partnership. We were able to bring it here, here, here in downtown Detroit. Nashville hot chicken, you can get uh, fried chicken sandwiches, your level of heat, everything from what we call and what he calls country style no heat to what he calls too damn hot, <laughs> where you actually have to put the gloves because it's so hot. And I love spicy food, so it's All fantastic. Right. It's got a kick then. I love it, especially with the, the, the chicken sandwich wars. People need to try that one out. What do you hope sure. guests will take away from visiting this? Yeah, so, you know, we have a lot of guests who come visit our uh, MGM Grand Detroit, obviously. A lot of them come for entertainment, concerts, and obviously gaming as well. But we also want people to come for food. It's what we've really been focusing on. We also want to be a food destination. That's why we opened our new steakhouse, Deep Prime. And now with Detroit Central Market, we're hoping people find something new, something that's different, something that's, uh, that's really great and authentic. And that, like you said, pays homage to Detroit. And you know what? We love for people to stop by just to be able to eat um, and just to try things out. And that's what we're hoping for. I tell you what, you have quite the selection there. And the hours right there on the screen, Monday through Thursday and Sunday, noon until midnight, Friday and Saturday, noon to 2 a.m. They're at MGM Grand Detroit, right next to the Breeze Dining Court. David Sai with MGM Resorts International. Thank you so much for being with us. No, thanks for having me. Take care. I'm hungry now, Kevin. I don't know about you. I know. It's spicy food, too. <laughs>